Hello everyone, today we're back for some more Planet Coaster. I just couldn't get enough of tormenting my visitors that I just had to come back for round two. The plan for this video will be to push the game further than anyone ever pushed it before by attempting to reach the 1 million visitor limit. I mean, why give us a limit that high if it's unachievable? I spent some time digging around through the depths of the online world, namely Reddit, and found that most people seem to think that the visitor limit is somewhere between 50 to 60 thousand people. It seems that by this point your visitors leaving will equal those that are entering and you'll kind of just hit a stalemate. To this I have one simple solution to solve a problem that has plagued many players since the game's birth in late 2016. My solution? Well we don't let the visitors leave. So let's begin by configuring the park so that we can get the fastest flow of guests possible. To do this we will use the scenario editor and we'll keep the place open 24-7 because I shouldn't be the only one without a life. The breakdown rate will be zero so that we don't need to worry about repairs. The next, and dare I say most important factor, will be to increase the capacity to one million people. Next, we'll change this number. I'm not sure if I understand it properly or not, but I believe it should give us more guests per ride if we keep the rides to a minimum. Unlimited funds are a must. I mean, I'm not in the business to earn money. I'm in the business to ruin lives. Oh, I said that in my previous video. Okay, um, no, 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 I'm not running out of material. Um, well, what if I told you we're fully funded by terrorism? How about that then? Next, we'll turn the staff's needs off so that they'll work all day and night without needing breaks. And we'll make them passionate about their jobs so we can disguise our cruelty as kindness. Now we will turn the guest happiness rate to 0%, which should hopefully just make the people as empty inside as I am. I mean, I don't want people to be happy about being here, but I also don't want people to be unhappy happy about being here. We'll also turn our guests into objector files by ramping up our park attractiveness multiplier up to the top. Hopefully this makes people really want to be here without making them want to fornicate on or around the rides. Great, now we'll turn all the traits off except for the fast walker. This does exactly what it says on the tin. It turns our guests into recent divorcees that suddenly take pride in their health. Lastly, we'll set it so only groups can spawn. Great, so we've finished setting the park up. Time to welcome Georgette back as it seems she is the first to spawn every time. She either really enjoys visiting locations before they're open or she keeps getting catfished on dating apps. Either way, I think it's clear that we can give her a more fitting nickname. There we go, Georgia. Isn't that better? We might as well rename this family too while we're at it. This is the kid. This is the name for this one. And you can be called Sandra. I know, I'm evil. Anyway, enough toying with the emotions of our future guests. It's time to get building. We'll start with a path, I think. I'd like it to be horizontal and somewhat path-like. If people can walk on it, then like me, it has achieved everything it has ever wanted to be. We'll add a blob at the end of the path, which can be the centre for all our shops. That's a good looking blob, which funnily enough would be the title of my autobiography. Now we'll add a burrito place, a beef place, a chow mein place, a cosmic cow place, a hats place, and lastly, a loony balloon place. After all, it's not a theme park without balloons and trauma. Because we want to lure people to this area, Area, we'll do it by setting everything to free because who doesn't like free stuff? Now we'll add a toilet, a first aid place which can double up as a toilet if you can't find the toilets, an ATM machine which can also double up as a toilet, and an information desk just in case you want to know why we allow people to go toilet wherever they please. But please do not go toilet in the information booth, we are not animals. We'll also add a staff building which will be unused as our staff don't need to take breaks, and a claw machine where the only prize you can win a lost Yay. children. Great, our park feels very park-like now. So it's time for some roller coasters. We'll build quite a few of them as I'd like to treat this section of path like a gauntlet. We want to basically make sure that anyone who enters the gauntlet won't make it to the other side. Nice, so I think the next thing we need to do is up our park rating a little by decorating the place because I know it's worth a lot of scenery points but also because I'm lazy. I'll just spam the place with the golden pirate chests. I think this looks pretty good anyway. Anyway, I mean, look at how shiny the place is. Even the workers seem happier with their new environment. So now this area is finished, we should work on the main, mm, let's call it a waiting area for guests. This will be the area that guests are thrown into once they're hit by the roller coasters. We'll start by digging a deep hole. I want the hole to be deep enough that if you jump into it, you'll regret it before you reach the bottom. And then probably again when you hit the bomb. Next, we'll just open up the path that leads to the guest spawning area. I dislike this cave 
style entrance anyway. I feel like it could be a real health and safety issue and we don't want to hurt our guests before they've entered our park. At least once they're inside the facility, we do have a piss smell and first aid hut that can treat people. Because I feel like I already have too much realism to deal with in my everyday life, I've decided we'll make the platform float magically above our pit. We'll just make sure it's separated from the main area. Nice. Now we'll build a wall around the platform. We can smooth out to make sure that no visitors hurt themselves when being thrown against it at high speeds. This is just one of the many steps we take to ensure safety within our park. We'll extend the wall to cover three sides, leaving one open. Perfect. Now we can place a path inside this area. This should stop those visitors from despawning. Against the edges, we can bring the wall forward to minimize the risk of people getting stuck. There we go. A rather lovely looking walled off waiting area. I think the last thing we should do is add a roof so that people don't get wet when it rains and also they don't fly too far. Nice. I think I'm rather happy with how this has turned out. I think though we could use some more roller coasters. So we'll go ahead and add a few more of them for good measures. Awesome. The last thing we can do is add a little lip to the front of the area. This will hopefully allow guests to fly over into the waiting area while sending the roller coaster plunging down into the pit below. Just smooth the top off. Perfect. Let's open the park and start filling our waiting area. Nice. The first guests are already showing up and what a turnout. I think it would be a good idea to delete some of the scenery from around the map's edges. Just the trees and whatnot as I think 1 million people is already going to be pushing my computer to its limits. Now to turn all the roller coasters to test mode and start this party. Oh, the first two visitors are proper eager and running towards their doom. Uh, how are you avoiding all of the coasters? Oh, great. So when the coasters explode, it knocks them all over the place. This isn't exactly the effect I had hoped for. I mean, some of the coasters are falling into the pit as planned, but the majority of them are just flying all over the path, which is going to slow the process down. Yeah, that's not what I wanted. Guys, could you just slow down in front of the roller coasters and wait patiently to be taken to the waiting area? Oh, there we go. Our first customers. But most of the visitors are completely dodging the roller coasters. We really don't want them making it over to the other side and helping themselves to our free stuff. I mean, look at this. How are you getting through this unharmed? Things are picking up a bit. We're getting more people chucked, but it's still just not a very smooth process. I think I may have over-engineered this. Let's pause the game and rethink this setup. I'll start by removing all the coasters. Next, we can reshape the path. Let's move the entrance part to this section here. Then maybe if we bring the path out away from the waiting area like this, curve it around this way, then bring it back towards the waiting area, creating a nice stretch of path. Perfect. Now I think we can get away with having a single roller coaster if we position it carefully at the end of the path like this. Then we'll add in a few more bits of hydraulic track to help build up speed and lower it down into the ground a little to make sure the coaster hits as many people as possible. And I think this is going to work much better now. Let's try it out. We'll just unpause the game, set the roller coaster to test mode and wait for the magic to happen. Speaking of magic, let's add a clown entrance way for people to pass under right before they're sent flying into space. This will help people to understand the fun they're about to have unless they're afraid of clowns. And it just shows them that they're in for a nightmare. Both are pretty accurate depending on your thoughts of being hit by a roller coaster. Just going to add a few more chests into the shop area to up the park rating a little bit more. And I believe the first group of people are about to take flight. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Oh, oh dear, that might be too far. Guys, come back. Uh, I'm sure they'll be fine. Well, we should probably extend the roof to prevent any more people from flying off into space. But too late. I mean, I could also pause the roller coaster or the game, but I feel like if people didn't want this, they wouldn't throw themselves in front of it. And besides, who am I to tell people no? So we'll just extend this part upwards to give a place for people to make contact. And then we'll extend the sides to stop the ones that splash outwards. Then we'll kind of cap the whole thing off with another roof. Oh dear, more people. Should have probably started in the middle. Never mind, this is your home now. Okay, so I can see that people are hitting the wall and oh, just bouncing backwards. Damn it. Why can't you hit things and slide down awkwardly like in the cartoons instead of bouncing all over the damn place? What is this, a game to you? Does it look like fun? It kind of looks like fun to me, but it shouldn't. It shouldn't be fun. It shouldn't ever be fun. Let's extend the roof out even more and we'll check out the hit again with the new changes. Ah, it's looking much better, but still a lot of splashback. It's probably happening because of the angle of 
of the roof. They're hitting a flat surface and rebounding off of it. So maybe if we try to angle the roof slightly, just fill the hole in. There we go. And smooth the sides out. Lovely. How is it now? Oh, much better. There's still the odd person coming out. Let's fix this issue anyway. We can do this by simply making the entry point narrow. This way, when they hit the back of the wall and bounce backwards, they may hit the front of the wall too and bounce back inwards. Yep, much better now. We can smooth out the inside a bit too. The less dodgy angles there are, the less dodgy bouncing there will be. I like that there are some people just hanging out up on the wall here. Sadly, I have to put a stop to this illegal meetup, but don't worry, you'll always be remembered as someone who helped build this place. I'll send a free basket to their widows. That's something people do, isn't it? Well, it's finally starting to act like I wanted it to from the beginning. I'm sure I could have achieved the same thing a simpler way, but I like to complicate my life so I have things to talk about in therapy. So they go in, they bounce, and only a couple leave. This is perfect. Let's check it from another angle, and yep, it's less perfect. They're hitting the wall outside. Uh, great. Let's just bring this down a little. Uh, huh? Wow, we people are really starting to flock to this place. Who knew the chance to be projected into a tomb disguised as a waiting room would be so popular? I guess these people just couldn't miss out on the chance to be part of history. So, we're still having some issues with the coaster interfering with the queue. We'll have to work that out by opening up a little hole here to direct the coaster downwards. Oh, whoops, that just went inside with all the people. I mean surprise. Pro-life tip people, if you say surprise after an accident then you make it sound like it was on purpose why you'd want to take responsibility for horrible accidents is for you to figure out alone. I'm just here to help you steal the spotlight during these terrible events. Anyway, we'll seal that back up now. Now with any luck. Yeah, 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 okay. The people fly up and the coaster goes down. This is definitely progress. I mean, progress can be good or bad, so I'm not specifying that. We're starting to see some real numbers inside the waiting area now. Let's streamline the design a little more. This looks like a toilet now. I mean, it doesn't look like a conventional toilet but whenever i see a hole i just have to pee inside it it's a curiosity thing really a disgusting curiosity thing now we can bring up a wall between the paths to stop the coaster from hitting into the walkers and we'll do the same to the other side now we'll put a little roof over the top to stop the blood from raining down onto the people it's looking good now hold on a minute are we making a cave i thought i was against caves i guess i've changed my mind on them so so inside our cave we just need to leave an opening for the people to shoot out of perfect fantastic great now let's take a journey together and see what they see they enter the clown's groid in a rather cramped and unpleasant condition before being smashed by a roller coaster that knocks them into another dimension some are unlucky though and just get exploded by the leftover roller coasters let's open up the tunnel for the coasters to travel down at the moment we're getting too much backfire well now we have some people falling down the roller coaster a waste disposal shoot but only a couple so it's okay i'm really happy with the progress we've made so far there is very minimal amounts of human waste now by that i mean people who don't make it opposed to actual human waste which there is an abundance of so as you can see the room is starting to fill up nicely there is a light source so people can get some sun exposure while they wait within the oversized tomb for whatever comes next down here we can see a viewing window where they can watch new friends being welcomed into the cave I like how some of the people actually managed to go get some drinks and are just walking home like, ah, oh, this was such a fantastic day. I'm so glad you convinced me to come here. I hope nothing happens on our way out. <laughs> Oopsie daisy. Let's have a look at some of the things people are saying about the park because I care about people's opinions. Priority passes are for suckers. Yes, because in my park, everyone gets a priority pass in the form of a roller coaster to the face. There's not much scenery here. Oh, you didn't make it to the golden chests obviously did you park entry is free so is space entry i'm stuck well you will be for the next foreseeable lifetime this place sucks oh you suck let's address one of these complaints by adding more scenery in the form of more golden chests i feel like people will never get sick of seeing golden chests looking at what we've made today i'm pretty confident in saying that we've made something and we will do whatever it was that we set out to achieve something about guests uh guests N numbers oh that's right a million guests yeah 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 i'm confident we'll do that but just to be sure we will streamline the launch system a little more by adding some 
towards to the sides and one to the back this way anyone that is launched and misses the opening will just fall back down into the launch area to be launched a second time see it works much better and the rubber's just getting filled faster and faster so now with all this streamlining we've been working on the flow of guests flow much better you could even go as far as calling it a river except it isn't because rivers are wet and these people are just bruised and sore the food court is still being reached by people who are queuing to get some free goods from us this is not good we will need to work harder on getting people into the tomb before they reach this area the first thing we can do is bring back a mascot everyone loves a mascot unfortunately simon the shark has got too big headed after the previous video and wanted more money than i was willing to give him so instead we've got his evil twin greg we can tell he's an evil twin because he has a mustache anyway greg comes with his own slogan and he says friends don't sue that's right if you sue then you're a jerk and you can't be my friend because of the budget we had left over from hiring greg instead of that dick simon we could spruce the place up a little more by this i mean i got a big inflatable guy who watches a clown shoot his glitter all over you before you enter <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is uh, yeah i'm not proud of this one but i mean it is a clown but yeah i'm still not proud let's go inside so after getting all glittered up by the clown you still get projected into the waiting area on the other side of the rainbow but now once you reach the destination instead of a dimly lit cave you're met with a disco of the future with no music <laughs> yeah you know it's fun when the lights do this anyway since upgrading the place people are a lot less unhappy now all our comments are like these i want to go on the 360 power one well you can't go on it but it can go on you so win win really i need the toilet i'm hungry i'm thirsty i'm stuck what am i your mother sort these things out for yourself i'm tired i wish there was somewhere to sit down damn it you people just wanting things all the time well i guess i can address one of the problems for you i will put a single bench in amongst you i can see there is a hundred thousand of you already so you better come up with a decent system to decide who sits and for how long because otherwise it's going to be an awful lot of people jealous of one person and this ass on the seat tells me i have solved the seating issue you're welcome i think it's time now that we run some ad campaigns to get more people in i will go ahead and just run them all in the pit i decided to put some more chests as well as a ride for people who have fallen down inside just because you've shattered every bone in your body doesn't mean you're not up for a good time still and to ensure a good time we're gonna go ahead and fill the whole place up with water hey oh oh my they uh um, we've just made a community of sea monkeys oh this is fantastic i've always wanted sea monkeys that were actually fun and not just tiny shrimp that die within a day of hatching let's add more layers of water to keep our aqua people happy we can travel between the layers like they're other dimensions welcome to the upside downs upside down which just makes it the right way up again Ooh. i feel like these are the layers of hell in dante's inferno welcome to purgatory friend well while we had fun with our sea monkeys the park has really just grown from strength to strength we're now sitting at a frame destroying 300,000 people the lag is already unreal so imagine a million people looking at the waiting room as well pretty um pretty sustained right because i'm not willing to admit defeat until my computer sets on fire and burns my house down i'll try to make some changes to the park to see if i can make it so the computer will hold out until we hit a million people i'll start by turning all the graphics down to the lowest setting nice now it looks and feels crappy next we'll get rid of the disco they've had it for 15 years already so you know they'll have to learn to live without it now cool it seems to be running a little smoother i'm sure there is some more changes i could make to the outside area to reduce the lag further but i'm happy for now with how it is yep i think the last thing to do is zoom out as far as humanly possible and wait until we hit a million people it seems my computer is running at a smooth 50 percent memory up here so we may make it if we believe in ourselves <laughs> Nine, eight, six, three, one, one million. Oh my. 
We've made it to one million visitors. Who would have thought this was possible seven years after the game has been out? Someone may have done this before, but you know, I couldn't actually find it. So I'll say it's the world's first. Can, can we say it's the world's Yeah, it's, it's the world's world's first it just looks like something from a nightmare with all the little hands in the air i'm actually surprised the computer's running so smoothly given the amount of people here god it's hypnotic and disturbing it should really come with a warning on it as it makes me feel uneasy if we pause it at the right moment we can get rid of the hands at least ah oh, this guy pretty much sums up the whole situation i think for the last thing i would like to send our million person army on a pilgrimage across the plains of our park if we set up an exit point it should make it so the people move i, c I can't possibly see how this is gonna end badly oh crap the game crashed oh it's almost like one million people moving at once was a bad idea who would have thought it let's see how long it takes to reload the game Well, here we are back in the game after, yeah, yeah, you read it right, 40 minutes. Now, also, the game is running like actual crap. I think the hamster in my computer might have died. But I'm not going to give up the idea of this pilgrimage. We just need to wait for the people to start moving. We'll unpause the game and go. Uh, yeah, this could certainly take a while. Well, I hope you've enjoyed watching my midlife crisis unfold in the form of gathering a million people to celebrate my computer dying, as much as I've hated every minute of it. If you'd like to see more of this game, let me know in the comments. For now, I'm going to sit here and wait for either these people to make it to the end of their journey, or me to make it to the end of mine. Whatever comes first. Until next time, toodaloo.